Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope you all well. So welcome back. In today's video, we are going to discuss, we will be continuing our topic solid state. So today we are going to discuss a very important topic from solid state in which usually the numerical used to come in the board examination that is voids. So today we are going to discuss about voids that what are voids, what are the different types of voids and what are the types of the numericals we are going to get from voids in the board examinations. So let's see. Now, when we are talking about voids, it is related to the packing in a crystal lattice. Uh, we have earlier also discussed in the previous videos that if suppose in a crystal lattice, we are considering the atoms in form of spheres like this, then all the space cannot be occupied by the atoms because of their spherical nature some of the space will always remain empty like these are the empty spaces so they are always going to be empty now what is going to happen because this is a two dimensional way in which i have represented it but when there will be a packing in a cube especially the packing will be in a three dimensional way so when there will be a packing in a three dimensional way, sometime what will happen due to a different type of the packing system, these empty spaces can be covered by different spherical particles. Okay. Like I can give you one example. Suppose in a kind of a packing like this are the, so, uh, these are the particles, spherical particles, which are present over there. And as it is a three dimensional, so maybe during a packing, one of the sphere will come and occupy this position. Now what is happening here? This empty space which was left there was covered by one of the sphere that is a particle which is forming that solid. So this results in a special type of a structure. We will discuss about the structure later. First, these empty spaces which are covered by the different spheres I am saying covered it means the empty spaces will still be there so these empty spaces which are covered by the spheres that is the spherical particles in the crystalline lattice are known as voids they are known as voids that is the empty spaces left or uh, which are present and they are covered by the different spherical particles, different sets of the spherical particles in a different type of a packing in a crystal lattice are known as voids. Okay, so these empty spaces are known as voids. Now, important thing is that what kind of the structure is generated due to the covering of those voids that results in a different type of the voids. There may be two different type of the voids arises due to the difference in the packing system. So we are going to see it one by one. So first type of the void which we are going to have, that is its first type, that is known as tetrahedral void. Now what is the me meaning of this tetrahedral voids? Tetrahedral void came from the shape which is generated due to the formation of such kind of voids. So that is resembled to this, but again, I am going to draw this so you can understand. Suppose this is a one of the spherical particle in crystal lattice. This is another one. This is the third one. And this is coming actually at the top of the empty space. So due to this, a special kind of a shape is going to be generated. If you remember this kind of shape. This kind of shape you have done in grade 11 also. So this kind of shape is known as tetrahedral shape where you all know the bond angle is 109 degree, 0.5 degree. Okay. So due to the generation of this kind of shape in such kind of a packing of a crystal lattice, in case of voids, the voids are known as tetrahedral voids as the shape generated due to this arrangement is tetrahedral. So these voids are known as tetrahedral voids. Okay. Understand? Now, important thing is that you should know that how many tetrahedral voids are there in a different type of the 
lattice structures. So that depend upon the type of the lattice we are having. As we have already discussed, there may be a different type of the lattice, like uh, simple cubic, body centered, face centered. So on the basis of that, the number of voids can also be determined because number of tetrahedral voids tetrahedral voids will be exactly equal to the twice of number of atoms in f in lattice whatever the total number of the atoms in the lattice is there twice of that will be the number of tetrahedral voids okay so if suppose it's a simple cubic in case of simple cubic we know there are only one atom so the number of tetrahedral voids generated in the such case is going to be twice of that that is going to be two same in bcc it is going to be like four and in fcc it will be eight okay so like that the tetrahedral voids are related to the number of atoms and we can determine easily that what are, what is the total number of the tetrahedral voids present in any kind of the lattice structure so that is about the tetrahedral voids okay now we are going to see the second type of the void. This is the first one. So now we are going to discuss the second type of the void, which is generated due to the different kind of the arrangement. So the second type of the void, which is there, is you can understand with the shape only. Like suppose these are the three spherical particles which are there in the system. Then suppose one more, this kind of spherical particles are there which are there in the packing of a system now what is happening that actually now this void which this is the empty space is covered by six sphere in this case it was covered by four sphere but here this empty void is covered by six spheres so in such case the shape which is going to be generated will be like this which again i am saying you have done in grade 11 when you have discussed the different type of the shapes that is it can have the octahedral shape so as the shape which is generated due to the this kind of the covering of the voids is octahedral so the second type of the void which is going to be formed is known as octahedral void so they are known as octahedral voids okay so that is the two type of voids which are there now one more thing is which is left that how many octahedral voids are there in a different kind of the crystal lattice now it's very easy we are representing it with a short form like ov octahedral voids octahedral voids are exactly equivalent to z so if you remember z z means number of atoms in lattice okay so that is in unit cell so it is directly equivalent to that like simple cubic that is only will be having one octahedral voids like in the fcc it will be having four octahedral voids in bcc only two octahedral voids so that is how the octahedral voids are related to that so you understand what are voids that is empty spaces which are covered by the number of the spheres that it, that gives it a specific shape so this results in a voids and the voids may be of two types like here four spheres are covering a particular void so it is known as tetrahedral voids their number is twice the number of atoms in the lattice while the other one is there which is known as octahedral voids where the six spheres are surrounding that void so they are termed as octahedral as the shape generated is octahedral and they are always equivalent to the number of the atoms in a lattice so it's very simple so you understand that now we are going to do some numericals based on these voids okay so students now we are going to do the numerical based on the voids so we have two examples here like the first question is there a compound crystallizes in fcc as you can say they have mentioned it a compound crystallizes in fcc lattice okay and is made up of two kinds of particles means two kinds of particles are involved in the formation of such kind of crystal lattice that is a and b okay these are the two types of particles now if a particle a type of particles are occupying all the fcc crystal fcc crystal means that they are present in the position which are 
given for the particle that is a specific quotient that is a lattice points. So they are occupied by A and B is occupying the tetrahedral voids that is one third part of tetrahedral voids are occupied by B. So B is present where the voids are there. So they are occupying the one third part of the tetrahedral voids. They are lying in that position where the one third part of the tetrahedral voids is covered by them. So calculate the formula of compound. That is, it is made up of two kinds of things that is A and B. So we have to calculate the formula. So let's see how we can do. Now, as it is a FCC lattice, so in case of the FCC lattice, we know that is the number of the atoms are going to be 4. Okay. And all the A particles are occupying the FCC lattice. So number of A will be certainly going to be equivalent to 4 because they are occupying the FCC lattice. Okay. So we have find out that what are the number of the A's there. Now, in case of the as it is a tetrahedral voids, so we have to calculate that what is the number of the tetrahedral voids. So the number of the tetrahedral voids will be equivalent to twice of z. Okay, that is z multiple of 2. So it means it will be equivalent to 4 into 2 that is equivalent to 8. So the number of tetrahedral voids are coming equivalent to 8. Okay, and all the tetrahedral voids one third is occupied by B. So the number of B will be equivalent to what? One third of 8 that is 8 by 3. Okay. So what we will do now? We will simply take the ratio of A is to B that is 4 is to 8 by 3. Okay. So finally, what is going to happen? The formula will become A 12 B 8. Okay. If you simplify it, it become A 3 B 4. So that is going to be our formula of compound. Okay. So that is how we can calculate the formula of a compound in case of the this kind of questions. Like what they have given, that is, a, they have given the FCC lattice. In the case of the FCC lattice, there are two kinds of particles, A and B. A is occupying FCC particles, so it is equivalent to the number of Z. And B is occupying the one third of tetrahedral void. So we have calculated tetrahedral void. That is always going to be the twice the number of atoms. That is going to be 8. So the one third part is occupied by the tetrahedral void. So it becomes 8 by 3. We take the ratio. We find it A12, B8. And when we take the ratio, we have to simplify it. When we simplify it, the value is coming A3, B4. So that is how we calculate the molecular formula of the compound. Okay. So this is one type of the question. Now let's see the another type. Now in case of the another type of the question, a compound crystallizes in BCC. Now this time the compound is crystallizing in BCC structure. And it is made up of the three atoms like a, B and C. So three atoms are there. A, B and C. This time three atoms are there. A is occupying BCC. Okay. A is present wherever the lattice points are there in BCC. B is occupying one third of octahedral voids. Whatever the number of octahedral voids are there, that is one third is occupied by B. And C is occupying the two third of those tetrahedral voids. Whatever the number of tetrahedral voids are there, two third is occupied by C. So now we have to calculate the number uh, formula of the compound. So we have to calculate first what? Number of atoms there of A, B and C respectively. So number of A will be always equivalent to the Z here because it is occupying the BCC structure only. That is coming equivalent to 2 because in case of the BCC, the value of Z is 2. Now we have to calculate the number of B. Now B is there that is one third of octahedral voids. So it will be equivalent to one third of octahedral voids and in K octahedral voids are always equivalent to the number of Z that is one third of Z and the value of Z is two. So it become two by three. 
so the number of b will be equivalent to 2 by 3 understand octahedroids are equivalent to z so one third of 2 we are going to take that is 2 by third that is b now we are going to calculate the number of c so number of c will be two third of tetrahedral voids that is two by three of t dot v tetrahedral voids now tetrahedral voids are twice the number of the atoms that is twice the number of the z so it will be equivalent to two by third into twice of z that is two into two so it become finally eight by three okay so like that we have calculated the number of a b and c respectively now what we are going to take we are going to take the ratio of a is to b is to c that is 2 is to 2 by 3 is to 8 by 3 and that is coming equivalent to 6 uh, is to 6 is to 8 so when we simplify it it become 3 is to 3 is to 8 so our formula will be a 3 b 3 okay so sorry yeah it will be 4 here and c 4 so that is how we have calculated the molecular formula of such compound again we see number of a will be equivalent to the number of lattice that is 2 number of b will be one third of octahedral voids with octahedral voids will be equivalent to z only so it will become 2 by 3 and number of c will be equivalent to 2 by third of tetrahedral voids tetrahedral voids will be twice of the z so in here it will be 2 into 2 so finally it become 8 by 3 then the ratio will be there we have to simplify the ratio and finally we'll be getting a3 b3 c4 that is how we can calculate the molecular formula of the compound you may get different kind of the questions on this these are the two types we have discussed maybe a different kind of the questions may also be there when we are going to finish the chapter then maybe if some things are going to be left or numericals are going to be left we are going to solve it okay so that's all for today uh, today we have finished with the voids in the next video we are going to discuss about the defects of the solids so like my channel subscribe it and share it to maximum please support like this okay see you in the next video thank you students